loves, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist, and I am ridiculously passionate about helping beautiful, soulful women just like you learn to love yourself, trust your intuition, and manifest your heart's true desires. Now, today's video is da, 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 five ways that you can fall ridiculously in love with yourself. What? Are you ready for the list? Okay. Number one is to embrace your individuality. That is the most beautiful part about you. There is no one on the planet as fabulous, as crazy, and as wonderful, and as childlike as you. And that, my love, should truly be celebrated. Number two is to surround yourself with high vibrational souls. They are people that build you up, make you feel amazing, and make you want to be a better person. And those people are the ones that want you to succeed in life. And basically, if you think about who are the five most closest people to you, because they are going to dramatically impact your journey in your success in life. Are you hanging around with people that are successful in life, doing incredibly well, doing their self-love practices, or are you experiencing contrast in your reality and are you hanging around people that, you know, that are in, um, emotionally draining situations, they're low vibrational souls and they're always like super negative and having a pity party. Because if that's you, maybe that's something that you need to change in order for you to thrive. Number three is to follow your intuition. Why? Because it always helps you to align with your higher self. Your higher self is basically like your intuition. And it's like your internal guidance system that tells you if you're on the right path or you're not. And you can tell if you're on the right path or not depending on your emotions or your emotional guidance scale. You can check out the list right here, one through to 22. One being love, 22 being depression. So where do you sit on there? If you're in depression, then you're probably out of alignment. If you're like between five and one, then you're in alignment because you're feeling positive and optimistic and you know, feeling love and joy. You know, you know when you're feeling good because that's when you're like smiling, you're having dance parties and it's a beautiful place to be. Number four is to practice daily self-love. Now, I'm a massive believer in self-love practices. Why? Because they help you raise your vibration to put you into vibrational alignment with your highest self. I, my self-love practices is simple. Like today was like straightening my hair, putting makeup on, painting my nails, growing my nails. I actually grow my, these are real. They're not fake anymore. How exciting is that? And to paint them is a self-love practice. I'm drinking a cup of chamomile tea. That's a self-love practice. Having it in this mug is a self-love practice. This morning, I did 10 minutes of yoga from doyouyoga.com, which was amazing. Um, then I put my music on and I was dancing around while I was putting my makeup on. And you know, what are the things that make you feel good? Do them every single day, okay? And five is to release your blockages. Blockages, what are you talking about? Blockages are like energetic blockages within yourself. Think about areas in which you need to forgive. That is a blockage within your body. I highly recommend that you check out my chakra meditation, guided meditation series on my channel. I'll just link it on the end card for you. And I work through the root chakra all the way through to the crown chakra. Now, each of the chakras correspond with a different energy center. I notice a lot of you, um, depending on the view, the views that I got from that series have a lot of blockages to do with your sacral chakra. So that's your um, energy emotional center, um, your love partnerships area, um, and also a lot of you have issues with your heart chakra. So I'm assuming that some of you may have had uh, relationships that have broken down and you haven't healed from it. Um, whatever that may be, release the blockages because when you release your blockages, you literally set yourself free. When you do that, you feel a sense of relief and your shoulders go <sighs> straight down. And that is a truly beautiful place to be. Well, there you have it, my loves. They're my five things to help you fall ridiculously in love with yourself. And I cannot wait to hear from you in the comment section below. Let me know what area you're going to focus on first because I cannot wait to hear from you. If you are new to the MK Love Fam, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It will let you know every single time I have a video, which predominantly is Wednesdays and Sundays at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Anyways, my love, that is it from me today. I cannot wait to hear from you in the comments. Make sure you thumbs up as well, because that definitely helps. 
and have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Remember, continue to make better choices so you, my love, can vibrate on the frequency of love, the most powerful one of all. Goodbye!